हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित यू आर वॉचिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम और डूइंग बीएससी और इंजीनियरिंग देन अवर चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू आई एम करंटली टीचिंग अबाउट टोटल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द इंस्पेक्शन मेथड देन द ऑक्जिलरी इक्वेशन मेथड देन द होमोजीनियस मेथड इन दिस सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग टू यू द जनरल मेथड और द मेथड नोन एज टेकिंग एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट मेथड वेन एवर एन एक्सपोनेंशियल टर्म अपियर्स इन द टोटल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन और इफ एनी trigonometric term appears in total differential equation then in that case this method is used you can use any method here you can recognize in homogeneous equation and the remaining three methods like auxiliary equation method inspection method or this general method you can use any of them according to the question let's start now what is the concept of general method whenever we are given any differential equation then what do we do in that case we'll take z as a constant it's not necessary to take z you can also take x or y constant but usually we will take z as a constant taking z as a constant what will dz become here it will become zero then pdx plus q dy will be equal to zero so we will solve it and whatever we get we will put it equal to fz are we clear till here then we will differentiate it again and compare it with the given differential equation from there students will get f dash z and also an equation clear we will solve it and the value of f z we will get will put it here so we will get the solution i will explain you how we will solve this here we will do it with an example suppose we have a question here i will write it down here the question is given 3x square dx plus 3y square dy minus x cube plus y cube plus e to the power 2z dz equals to 0 e to the power 2z dz equals to 0 right what will we do here we'll let z is equal to a constant so dz is equal to what did we take we took it as 0 when we will solve this then students we will get 3x square dx plus 3y square dy is equal to 0 now we will integrate it when we integrate this here the integration will be x cube by 3 3 cancels with 3 when we integrate this we get y cube by 3 and we'll consider this as fz right now what we will do we differentiate this again is it clear when we differentiate this then what we will get we will get its derivative which is 3x square dx plus it is 3y square dy is equal to we will get f dz into dz on this side is it clear this will be its value let's take it to this side then it will be 3x square dx plus 3y square dy minus f dash z into dz it will be equal to 0 now we will compare this with this so we will get minus f dash z is equal to it will be minus x cube plus y cube plus it will be e to the power 2 z and we are getting the value of x cube y cube as f z minus cancels with minus we get f dash z is equal to this will be f z plus e raised to the power 2 z hence we get differential equation in terms of f z now pay attention here i write this as f dash z minus f z and it is equal to e to the power 2 z if you notice then d minus 1 multiplied by fz is becoming equal to e to the power 2z m minus 1 is equal to 0 it implies m is equal to 1 then we will get the cf here as c1 into e raised to the power of z now we'll take the particular integral so this will go below so fz will be equal to this e to the power 2z upon d minus 1 now we will put 2 in place of d so this will be e to the power 2z upon 2 minus 1 which means 1 now the final answer we will get it will be cf plus pi so the value of fz will be cf which is c e to the power z plus pi which is e to the power 2z right hence we will get this value now what is the value of fz here the value of fz is x cube plus y cube put it here to get its final solution we will put the value of fz then we will get this as x cube plus y cube is equal to c into e to the power z plus e to the power 2z now this value will be the final solution of this differential equation so we can easily solve it here i will try to explain one more question like we have this question here so what we will do we will write let z is equal to c1 and dz is equal to 0 when we do this it will be e to the power xy plus it will be e to the power z into dx and e to the power yz plus e to the power x into dy this will become 0 here 
Is it clear? Now what we will do? We will simplify this a bit, right? Now you can see that we are getting y along with x. And along with y, e is also coming and e to the power z is a constant. So we can take this term, right? z is a constant here. So this will become e to the power y because we are taking z as a constant. Plus what we will get? e to the power xy into dx plus e to the power x dy is equal to 0, right? We will separate wherever x is given with y and y is with x. Now this will be e to the power z into dx plus e to the power y z into dy plus d. Differentiate it with u into v. We will find the derivative of e to the power x dx, but y is a constant. When we did dy of y, then e to the power x is constant. We will get this with u into v. Now we'll do its integration. e to the power z is constant. If we'll do this, then z is constant, right? And this will be as it is here. d of e to the power xy, right? In this, we will take this constant. We will take fz, right? We will take constant as fz. Is it clear? Now we'll do this. It will be x e to the power z plus z e to the power y. Plus this will be e to the power xy equals fz. Now what do we do? We differentiate it back, right? We will differentiate it. When we differentiate x, it will be e to the power z dx. And if we leave x, we get e to the power z dz. Now we will do this. So we will get z into e to the power y multiplied by dy. Now what we will do? We will leave e to the power y and this will become dz. Plus here we will do this, then this will become e to the power xy. dx plus, now we will get, this will be e to the power x here and then here this will become dy, it will be equal to f dash z. Into it will be dz, right? Now we will check for dx terms. One term is this. Another term of dx is this, which will be e to the power xy into dx. Now these two are the dy terms. This will be z e raised to the power y plus e to the power x dy. Now look for dz term. So the dz term is x e to the power z. Then it is e to the power y. Now the next term we will take minus f dash z dz. dz is equal to 0. So we will compare this to the given equation, right? When you will compare it. Then you will notice that this value is exactly the same as this. This value is same as well. But this value is not equal. So what do we do? We make it equal. How we will get it equal? I will equate this term with this given one, right? Then students here we will get it as x into e to the power z plus e raised to the power y, right? And then minus f dash z. It is equal to, we will get this as e to the power y, right? And from here we get its value. This value is minus e raised to the power of x into y and minus e raised to the power of y into z. And what will this become? This will be the term. Now you can see one term that is e to the power y is getting cancelled. I think I don't see x e to the power z anywhere. And here you need to pay attention that one fz will form here. The value of the term fz here, it is this one. So what we will get? Let's write it. I will take this term to the other side and fz to the other side. Then we will get f dash z. Take these two terms to other side. So it will be x e to the power z, e to the power x y, e to the power y z. What are we getting this as? This entire term is becoming fz, right? And if this term becomes fz, then from here we get its value, which will be f dash z is equal to fz, clear? This will be f dash z and minus fz equal to 0. So this will be d minus 1 into fz is equal to 0. It will be m minus 1 equals 0, which implies m is equal to 1. So this will be fz is equal to constant c. What we will get? e to the power z, we will put the value of fz. And then we will get the value. This will be x e to the power z z e to the power y, e to the power x y equals c e to the power z. Hence, we will get this as solution of this differential equation. So, in this way, we can easily solve it. Let's check out the next question. It's a good one. We will apply the same method here as well. Let z be as constant. So, dz is equal to 0. So, it will be cos x plus e raised to the power x y into dx plus e to the power x plus e power y z into dy it will be equal to 0 because dz is becoming 0. Now what we will do? We will integrate this. You can see that the integration of cos x can be directly done here. But this might become difficult, so I will just write it all together. It will be z e to the power y dy. And plus this is e to the power xy dx plus e to the power x dy. We will write this separately, right? Because y is with dx and then x is along with dy. What will we do here? This will be cos x dx and plus z. 
e to the power y dy plus d. You can see what we have done here. X was differentiated with y constant. We did y with x constant. This will be y e to the power x. Now we will integrate it here. When we will integrate this here, we will take f z as a constant, right? Now we know that the integration of cos is sin x plus z into e to the power y plus y e to the power x is equal to here. We will get f z as a constant. Now whatever value we will get here, we will differentiate it again. Clear? When we will again perform the differentiation of this, we get cos x dx plus. We will get z e to the power y dy plus e to the power y is left. This will give dz. We will do it here to so. What will we get? Y e to the power x dx plus e to the power x is left. We get dy is equal to. We will get f dash z dz on this side, right? Now we will rearrange this expression. We will take dx common from this. This will be cos x plus y into e to the power x dx. Then take the dy term. This will be z e to the power y plus e to the power x dy, right? Then we are getting these terms here. Now take the dz term, which is e to the power y. Take this f dash z over here. So minus f dash z into dz will be equal to zero. What we will do? We will compare it. When you compare it, you will see what are the terms we are getting here. This term is equal to this. This is equal to this. Now this term should also be equal to this, right? In that case, we will equate both of them. When we will equate, then we get one term as e to the power y, and this is its coefficient, right? This will become e to the power y minus, and this will be f dash z from here. Is it clear? If you notice, e to the power y is getting cancelled. It will become minus f dash z is equal to zero, meaning f dash z. This will become zero here. If we integrate it, then what will we get here? This will be f z is equal to. It will be c, and this is the value of f z. So we will substitute this value. It will become sine x plus z, e to the power y plus y e to the power x is equal to c. Hence, we will get the answer of this question. In the way I just explained, you can solve this question very easily, right? If you are preparing for CSIR NET Gate IIT Jam, you can buy our books through Amazon and Flipkart. You will find the link in description. If you want to join our course, RPSC Assistant Professor, or any other courses which we have launched, so the courses are available on our Maths Care app. The link to that is also in the description. This question is for comment box. How long did it take to solve? Please let me know in the comments if you want to watch more videos. You will find the entire playlist here. You will find relevant content here if you are preparing for the CSIR NET Gate or IIT Jam exams. You can subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.